I will show you the fastest way you can speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve and it will even give you way smoother outcomes than the method you've been using so far. Trust me, after I told you this you don't want to go back. But let the result speak for itself. Usually, to speed ramp and edit like that, it would take me like half an hour. And the bad part? It wouldn't even look so good. And that was the pain I was experiencing. So I was always looking for a method to speed up my speed ramping process and save some time on it. But I just couldn't find a solution. So I spent even more time creating a solution myself. And here it is, the ultra speed ramping plugin. With that, I am able to reduce my speed ramping time by 90%, which speed up my and many other workflows tremendously. I couldn't even imagine creating edits without this plugin anymore. And I would never want to experience the pain again of creating speed ramps with the retime curves method that you are probably still using. But let me show you how I use the speed ramping plugin in my workflow. So I'm working on this edit right now that you just saw and I want to time the clips to the beat of the music. To do that I created these markers on every beat I want the transition to be. So let's do this. Let me take my first clip right here and just preview it. These clips are by the way from Sutra Edits and I will mention him in the description. You can get his clips on his Discord server. First, before I adjust the speed, I have to cut out the parts that I don't want to have in this clip. So if you need to cut your clip, do that right now. But this clip is good how it looks right here, so I can adjust the length. To do that, hit Ctrl R on your keyboard and adjust the length. I will activate the magnet right here, so it will automatically jump to the marker. Then hit Ctrl R again, and now the length of the clip is good. Now, there's an important step. If you cut the clip, or you made any adjustments here in the inspector, for example, you rotated your footage, or you zoomed in on it, or anything like that, then you have to right click and create a new compound clip. Click on create. And only after that you can apply the plugin. But if you create a compound clip, if you go here to file, you can see if we go back, the clip frame rate is by 30, but after we created the compound clip, it will change to 24 and the resolution will change also. That is because I'm working in a 24 frames timeline with HD resolution. So if you don't want to change the resolution or the frame rate, you have to make sure to adjust your timeline resolution and frame rate to the clip resolution and frame rate and after you applied the plugin you can change it back. But because I didn't make any adjustments and I don't cut the clip, I don't want to create a compound clip and I can just move on like that. Now to apply the plugin, go to the effects library. Under effects, you can find CarVinci Resolve, click on it and now you can find the CarVinci Ultra Speed Ramping plugin. Just drag and drop it onto your clip and like that you already have a speed ramp. Close the effects library and now you can preview your speed ramp. But I don't want a speed ramp like that, so I will choose another preset. You can choose between 10 presets. I want to create a boomerang speed ramp, so I will click on that. Now let's watch the speed ramp. If you also have playback issues like I have, you can right click and select Render Cage Region Effect Filter and click on the name of the plugin. Now you can see this red line appears if you have on playback the Render Cage on User or Smart. 
If this line is blue, then you can play it back smoothly. But I'm still not satisfied with the speed ramp. Because I want it to go slowly in, then stay a little bit right on the end. And then I want it to go back really fast. So to change that, I will just select the middle point in this graph right here. And just increase the in value, just like that. After that, I can also adjust these handles right here to adjust the speed ramp to my liking. And now, let's wait until this red line turned blue, just like that, and let's play it. Now this looks exactly how I want it to be. And just like that, I already speed ramped one clip. Now, let's move on to the next clip. Drag it to the end of the first clip. Make sure you cut out all the parts you don't want to have. Adjust the length. To the third marker right here, hit Ctrl R again to hide that, then create a compound clip if you need, but I didn't cut the clip or adjusted any controls here in the inspector, so I can just apply my speed ramping plugin, drag and drop it, and I will leave the normal speed ramp, and just like that I can right click again, Carvinci Ultra speed ramping plugin, and it will render the cage, so I can play it back smoothly. And just like that, let's see what we have till now. That looks good, so we can move on with the next clip. Drag it to the end of the second clip, adjust the length. I don't need to cut anything, so I don't need to create a compound clip. Just go to the effects library, add the plugin, and I will leave it on the default. Right click, render cage fusion effect filter and click on the plugin name. If the line is blue, we can preview it. But I don't want this clip to go in this direction because this would be the opposite direction of the second clip. You can see the second clip goes back and to the right and the third clip goes forth and to the left. So to invert the speed, just click on this invert button right here, wait until the line turned blue, and now let's watch it again. This looks way smoother and just how I want it to be. So let's move on with the last clip, and that's this clip right here. We can see the last clip goes to the right and this one goes to the left so we need to invert the speed again. But I don't want to have this first part in here. So I will cut a bit of the beginning, delete that and now I have to right click, create a new compound clip, create and now I can add the speed ramping plugin. Also with the normal curve but inverted, right click, render cage fusion effect filter and wait until the line is blue. And now let's see what we have just created. So I forgot to speed up this clip, which is no problem because we can also do this right now. Just hit Ctrl R and adjust the length to your liking. Just like that. Wait until the line is blue and let's watch it. And just like that, you can speed ramp and edit in just a few minutes instead of hours. Now after that, you can also go to the effects library and add my Ultra Motion Blur plugin. Just double click on the name, then the controls will pop up. And you can either adjust the curve yourself or go to the automatic motion blur, increase the strength a little bit and do that again for the other clips. Now. Also go to the clips, right click, render cage fusion effect filter and click on the name of the ultra motion blur plugin. Do that for every clip and then the line will turn blue and you can play it back with no issues. Now let's watch it again. You can see we now have this smooth motion blur which looks really cool. So if you also want to create smoother speed ramps so your videos look way more professional and on top of that save hours of your valuable time, 
Then click the first link in the description right now and download the plugin. You will get a DRFX file, which you just have to double click and then it will install the plugin into DaVinci and you can access it in the effects library like I did. If you want to have more plugins to speed up your workflow, check out this playlist right here or this video and also stay tuned for the DaVinci car editing community that I am currently working on. Maybe if you watch this video sometime after it was released, you can already join it if you are interested. Just scroll down to the description and there you should find the link. And with that, subscribe and like and I will see you in the next one.